research shows some interesting findings about dolphins. Australian researchers say dolphins use individual names for each other to identify both their friends and their rivals. So I was looking up um, dolphin sounds. Can you hear them? I can hear them because I'm sitting next to you. I hope the viewers can hear. <laughs> okay. I, it's so, just what, in case so what you they're hear. saying is, Heather, 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 you're announcing yes. your presence. Yes. And so the on the other dolphins with their own unique whistle are saying, I'm Matt, I'm Matt, right. I'm Matt, I'm here. And so what they did was the researchers studied, oh. oops, let's turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to know this that YouTube ad. This dolphin segment brought to you by. <laughs> um, right. So they looked at 17 different male dolphins yeah. and they were they listened to their whistles and what they found out is each one has a unique whistle which is their name and this is a way to tell that they have these complicated social networks that no other non-human animals have which is really interesting that we've just discovered this yeah I think it's really cool because when you think about it there are so many things that we don't know about so many different species mm -hmm. on the earth and mm -hmm. then now we're just realizing that dolphins do announce themselves in a very unique way I was kind of curious so we have popular names here in America mm -hmm. Matt Sure. Steve, sure. Mike, <laughs> mm -hmm. do we see that in dolphins? I don't think so. Well, so they say that these whistles mm -hmm. can be found in other dolphins. That there might be, right. you know, multiple Steves, multiple Daves, uh, but they don't hang out they together. They don't all sit no. at the same table. So no, in this not. case, no more mats would be allowed at this table. Right, and this makes it easier uh, for when a couple of dolphins get together. One dolphin, Steve, gets his wingman. <laughs> And they go to meet some ladies. Because that's how dolphins work. This is how dolphins <laughs> approach uh, a female pod. Mm -hmm. Because female dolphins kind of live in one family, family yep. in a group, uh, and the guys are pretty much solo. But now we've found uh, that a couple of them, two or three dolphins, mm -hmm. will approach the group mm -hmm. of women together for support. I mean, it's smart. Dolphins are smart. They know. <laughs> they it's know easier to enough. Matt, it's a lot of pressure. It's, sure sure it's a lot of pressure. You walk up there, mm -hmm. it's all on you. But if you got a couple of guys to back you up, yep. sure, yeah. then suddenly you've got a little bit more confidence. And that's why you need the names to be able to communicate with them. Mm -hmm. But these these names will also tell you who your friends are, who your rivals are, who your frenemies mm -hmm. are, because then they have these social networks, sort of the B-list mm -hmm. wingmen there, yeah. too. And they'll have, you know, 15 or 16 <laughs> of those groups mm -hmm. in there as we well. also found out that dolphins kind of like dap each other up too oh, as yeah, they're swimming yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so I'm pretty sure dolphins are just frat bros I think that was the takeaway from this study is that pretty really much. They're, the, they're the frat brothers of the ocean they are I okay. think so yep heard it here first <laughs>